Well, welcome back and this time I'm going to be replacing this window. This is the ground floor next to the front door and it's the one by the stairs. Um, this is going to be a bit tricky because the top of the window is curved. Hopefully you can see that. Which means that getting a replacement window with a curve in the top is really expensive. However, I cannot open these windows full length because the staircase is in the way. It seems to be a thing in France. Uh, stairs cutting across windows. So what they've done is only the bottom part of the window opens. So I'm going to be replacing that with a double glazed unit. And then I've got double glazed glass to go into the top. So I'm going to keep the original frame at the top, cut the bottom bit away and replace it and then replace the glass in the top bit so that will give us a fully double glazed window as you can see um, I've lost quite a bit of putty out of this window which means the wind is blowing through the gaps through the window um, I've not painted this one since we've been here so it's in a bit of a state so we'll give the top part a paint, new glass, new window in the bottom. Uh, I'll paint the walls. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to paint the shutters because we're predicted for the next 10 days of rain. So I don't, and these shutters will not come off. So I'm going to have to paint them in situ. But I'll show you from inside. And here we are inside. As you can see, there is a uh, considerable gaps where the putty's gone. It's very thin glass. There's no insulation properties on that at all. And as you can see at the top, this is where the stairs cut across it. So obviously it doesn't open. So I'm just going to replace the bottom part. So I've now got the new frame actually in the hole. Uh, the original window looked like it was a fully full length opening one and they themselves had cut the top section off uh, because the top two parts, top two windows there are actually openers, so they've got hinges on but they've been screwed shut and screwed together and that was what the bottom part of the window is closed against. Uh, so I've now got a bar going all the way across that will make it a little stronger.
the walls have been patched up well knocked the plaster out and as you can see I've fitted the windowsill that I made so that's about it for this window for now